Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will solve uh, part A, B, C, and D of exercise 4.4, and also we will solve N chapter question 4.2. Part E and B, I have made another video, part E and B of exercise 4.4, so you can watch that. So let's start the first question, part A. Find the value of i and v for the given circuit. So this is the given circuit. So first of all, we see that the cathode is connected to ground, and therefore we can conclude that, uh, and also the anode is connected to the positive side. Therefore, this diode will be conducting. And so we draw the equivalent circuit like this. The diode is now shorted. And uh, straight away you can conclude that the voltage is now connected to ground. That means voltage will be zero. And the current will be five minus zero divided by uh, this resistance. So current is five. Uh, we, didn't, we don't write, need to write uh, minus zero. 5 divided by 2.5 is equal to 2 milliampere and as I mentioned voltage is connected to ground so voltage will be 0 volt. Let's go to part B. Now the diode is reversed here you can see the direction has been changed and so from the circuit we now conclude that the positive is connected to ground or the anode of the diode is connected to ground and the cathode is connected to the positive and therefore diode will be a reversed bias. So this will be the circuit, it is now open circuit and um, since it is open circuit no current will be flowing so current is zero. The question is how much will be the voltage? Now, if you can make a straight guess from here, that is fine. But I generally prefer to draw uh, an equivalent circuit, which is something like this. You see this 5 volt, I have connected with the battery. And then we have a resistance. And then we have this cap. And now if you see that since no current is flowing, so whatever is the input voltage that will appear across the output or across the open gap. So now we can say that the output voltage V is plus 5 volt. So V is plus 5 volt. It is always better to do uh, this type of a circuit because then the chances of error will be minimized. And now we come to uh, C, now the ground has been on the top, has been drawn on the, at the top and the bottom voltage is negative 5 volt. So let's see. So this is the circuit and now you can see that the negative of the, uh, or the cathode of the diode is connected to ground but anode is connected to minus 5 volt. So this uh, has to be reverse bias because anode should be connected to positive to make it forward bias. And so this will be also an open circuit here. And same way the current is now zero because there is no path for the current to complete. And for this again uh, we have to draw an equivalent circuit. Similar circuit, minus 5 volt battery, then this resistance, and then this output. Now, keep in mind that this whole thing we have drawn here, and so the current direction, uh, the voltage potential you have to keep in mind. This is positive, so I have to, uh, sorry, negative. This end, which is touching with the protruded arm, so top here is negative, and the bottom here is positive because the one near to ground is positive so that you have to keep in mind 
and now if you compare so what is the output voltage and minus 5 but minus 5 is against minus V this will read minus V so minus V is equal to minus 5 and therefore from here we can say that V is equal to 5 again this helps if you draw this circuit otherwise it would have been very difficult to make a guess from here and part D the diode uh, is reversed and now you can see that uh, the anode of the diode is connected to ground but the cathode is connected to the negative side therefore this diode will be um, conducting forward biased and so we draw the equivalent circuit like this and now uh, you can straight away write from here that this is connected to ground therefore negative V will be 0 and therefore V will be 0 and for current we will write 0 minus minus 5 divided by this resistance so let's write so current is 0 minus minus 5 from it is current is flowing from 0 to minus 5 so 0 minus minus 5 divided by 2.5 is 2 milliampere and if you draw it's fine you draw it easily so this is uh, minus 5 and 2.5 and this terminal is now you can see is connected to ground so we'll say minus 5 uh, minus v is equal to ground or v is equal to ground so minus v is equal to ground or v is equal to ground or zero volt so this uh, completes the four part of uh, exercise 4.4 now let's do n chapter problems which is similar for the circuit shown using ideal diodes find the value of voltage and current so this also will do one by one and the first a bring it here now you can see here also the cathode part is connected to ground and anode part uh, sorry minus 5 and anode part is connected to plus 5 therefore this diode will conduct okay so this is the forward bias and therefore uh, the current will flow first let's calculate current current is flowing from plus 5 to minus 5 so let's calculate that so plus 5 minus minus 5 divided by 10k is 1 milliampere and now you see this is shorted therefore this voltage is minus 5 minus 5 is connected directly to V therefore we can directly write that V is equal to minus 5 you can if you want you can also draw like this an equivalent circuit uh, for this diode shorted therefore you can see from here that this voltage is uh, minus 5 is appearing across this uh, so V is equal to minus 5 this minus terminal is at the top and here you may take KVL if you want to find the current uh, and but if you understand this there is no need of going into this now let's see part B so this is the circuit redraw it here and now you can see from here that the cathode is connected to the positive side and anode is connected to the negative side therefore this diode will be reversed bias so we we'll show it by open circuit and so the, the current flow will be zero in this case so i is zero now we need to find this voltage now if we take this loop here actually this way so plus 5 is equal to i into 10k and plus this voltage V so you can write that 5 is equal to I into 10k plus V 
but i is 0 so the first term becomes 0 and therefore v is equal to 5 volt if you want you can draw a equivalent circuit like this and since nothing is flowing here therefore this voltage will appear across the open circuit like here and it will be so v will be 5 volt and from here by kvl you can get 5 volt also okay let's see question c this is the question given let's redraw it here now you can see that the anode is connected to the positive side and cathode towards the negative side therefore this is forward biased so we draw it forward biased and we can now calculate the current current is going from positive 5 to negative 5 so i will be 5 minus minus 5 divided by 10 k so 5 minus 5 divided by 10 k is 1 milliampere now which uh, this voltage we can either work with this loop from here or we can see from here directly if you can draw it like this so this is uh, plus 5 volt and then this is the voltage v here so we can say that voltage v is 5 volt or if you are not comfortable you can work with the bottom loop so this loop here this loop i have drawn it here so this is uh, 5 and then we have this current we are going from here kvl we are writing kvl the current coming from top so this will be positive this negative so we will write negative negative i into 10k and plus v and from here solving you can also find v to be 5 volt and now okay so finally part d and let's redraw it here so this is the circuit now the uh, cathode is connected to positive and anode to negative therefore this is a reverse bias so let's draw it so reverse bias so no current will flow so i is zero so i is zero for this voltage we'll follow this loop now so we can write minus five this current would have made this positive and negative so minus i into 10 and plus v so minus 5 minus i into 10k plus v but i is 0 so this is 0 and so v is equal to minus 5 volt so i hope this gives you some kind of an understanding as to how you can solve this type of a question thank you